Roscoe and Soul Train! Yeah, baby! Sacred Fountain Valley. Look at this. I'm by myself. Can you believe it? Now, I've been here a few times. Sometimes I've uh, sucked the suckets and sometimes I get some good shit. But let's find out. Let's go! Browsing the DVDs and this was one of my favorite movies growing up. Fucking loved it. This would be a fun one if the discs were all in there. Damn it. Here's one of these after death Tupac releases that Death Row did, but nothing in this case, unfortunately. I think this guy wins the award for the best hair right here. This place is fucking crazy in here today. It's packed. Look at this. Fucking horse, but five bucks, I don't know. Browsing electronics, and look at this an old Panasonic VHS player. And it's got the controller. That controller's fucking huge. Six bucks, not bad. I mean, this is kind of cool considering that I am from the Bay Area, but I don't know about repping it on a hat. This is perfect for the savage retired person, you know. Minor League Baseball teams have the best logos, and this is the Rochester Red Wings, I believe. It's fucking pretty cool. It's got the tag still on it. I'm going to have to pick this up. Slim Pickens in the t-shirt section, but I did come across this 2013 playoffs from the LA Kings, and it is a real one, like Chewy said. $3.99? I think I'm going to have to get this. Found a Brock Lesnar Suplex City t-shirt, but I don't really know enough about it to really spring on it for six bucks. Fuck. Not a trip to the thrift without finding some of these. <laughs> I'm sorry, but for a Star Wars night, dude, these fucking designs are trash. Mama! Dude, this place is literally across the street, and they are delicious. This is a pleasant surprise. I had no idea there was another section of hats over here. All right, time to dig. All right, so this is kind of funny. So the first one of these hats that I found was six forty nine. This one's five forty nine, and this one right here is three forty nine. <laughs> okay. Oh, legit score right here, glitter. It's not something you see every day. It's a San Jose Barracuda hat. Pretty cool. So this saver's just switched over to self checkouts for everybody, which is a great idea because it's totally saving everybody a lot of time. The line goes all the way back there. All right, so I ended up picking up a couple things in there. Dreamscape, Rochester Red Wings hat. This is kind of cool. I picked up this uh, Main Street Electrical Parade uh, Pete's Dragon t-shirt. It was a pass holder, uh, pass holder t-shirt from 2019. Kind of rad, gorgeous, 2013. Unfortunately, the Kings didn't win the Stanley Cup in 2014, but they did in 2012, as well as 2014. Blackhawks this year, but still a cool shirt. But the coolest thing I got, <laughs> And you guys might think this is stupid, but I don't give a fuck. I, they gave me one of these 1957 silver certificates, which you don't really see that often, but still kind of rad. Best pickup so far. All right, let's go to the next spot. Second stop of the day is the Salvation Army Family Store. I think I'm in Costa Mesa. I'm not sure, but I've never actually been to this one. And uh, it seems to be kind of slow in here, which is a good change from the last savers. So let's go. Only a sick piece of shit would ever wear this. This entire rack is just pure dog shit. Wow. Horse by the horse! I was in the DVDs and look at this, just fucking pillaged over here. Fuckers. Wow. Dude, it's been crazy. Every case that I've opened up, there's been no CD or DVD in there. It sucks. All right, I did come across a big score here. This one's from my dad right here, The Awful Truth, Michael Moore. He's a big fan, my dad. He loves Michael Moore. So I'm definitely going to get this for my dad. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yep, I think I'm about ready to tap out over here. Uh, it doesn't get much worse than that, so let's go to one more because... That was real bad. <laughs> Check out Roscoe Soul Train on eBay. Last stop of the day, Eco Town. I kind of love this store. Hopefully there's some stuff that gets left in there at this time of the day. Let's go. Nothing too crazy in here, but I found this Hollywood Ranch Market single stitch. Life is a journey toward a guiding light or the guiding light t-shirt. It's 12 bucks. I don't know. I think I might have to grab this. It's, I think it's rare. I kind of like this right here. It's uh, a Los Angeles shirt from the 80s. Fucking hot tea. <laughs> and the hats and look at this this one's a little expensive but this one's pretty cheap so i think the two of them balance each other out and they're both new with tags so fuck yeah dude this section is always so fucking rad i just came across this the best butchers in the block fucking sweet but dude there's just boxes on boxes over here fuck i might have to dig be awesome to find a bunch of more horror in here but we'll find out not mind-blowing finds or whatever but it's kind of cool to see them with these limited edition coins and <laughs> Even if George Barris was completely full of shit, this movie was still fucking awesome. This has got to be a quality flick. No joke, I'm just having the worst luck today. Look at this. Gone. I gotta say, I really do like this store a lot. It's just so well organized and clean. Everything in it. Awesome place. Definitely recommend it if you're in Fountain Valley. So I spent a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I ended up coming up with some cool stuff. I got this clipper bag, and if you guys don't know, I'm a hairdresser, so I'm definitely gonna put all my shit into this bag. Great, I got this Best Butchers on the Block 
uh, three Blu-ray or DVD series. And then I got, also got The Tale of Princess Kaguya on DVD. Uh, that's sealed. I got those two hats. I got that King's hat and I got this old USC hat, both new with tags. I also got that um, Hollywood Ranch Market t-shirt. I took a chance on it. It was a little bit more than I want to spend, but at the same time, I thought it was kind of cool and I couldn't really find out too much about it, which always gets me excited. Uh, I got that vintage Los Angeles t-shirt. This thing's brand new. And uh, what else did I get? I think that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, head to Zippa Guy and go ahead and subscribe. I noticed that the vast majority of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you could do me a favor, I don't know if it really means anything on YouTube, but it would be kind of nice if you subscribe to this channel so you could see all the weird stuff. Normally I have friends with me, which is nice because it makes me more excited and more of a douchebag on camera. Regardless, I uh, hope you like this video and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys fucking soon and go check out my shit on eBay. Uh, it's linked down below. Yeah, baby. Welcome to Robert Land. That's right, your favorite not safe for work comedy theme park podcast. And I'm your host, Robert Thompson. Me and Roscoe have that podcast, Robert Land. You should check it out. This is it right now, so you need to watch it. Yeah, link down below right there. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude.